lamp of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This little lamp of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This little lamp of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Manda. Viva! 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 ANC Women's League, viva! Viva! Viva, my veterans, viva! Viva! Amanda! Away! Nito was the Kuru, the two bang in Tola, when I'm saying this in Patin Dambo. Sebachu, Wooting, and Banu Boskas, and I'm twenty. Wooting, we are happy, and his age. Mina likes the Kayala, but must lella. This is Ulansa Corn. Abane Gabala Pangomza Laban. And which is about Fungisi, which is a minister of Corner La Parati way to Spong Banaway Baba, which is a Zogis Kudas Corner. Nam Sanja Nogan Bakulu, Putin Balulegile, Nikarategil and Zin Kudu Nogan Goba, Nikamil Langa, anything like Nam Sanjis. Mind the Gangers to me a complete veteran. Minafnang is showing to me a go never. Eh, we think Lala Pantan see. And then you went around to successfully, is the Calipans. I feel honored and privileged to speak to you on this great occasion held in honor of an ordinary woman. She was an ordinary woman, the Guma machine. But uh, she did a lot of surprises. An unsung heroine of our liberation struggle who opened the gateway to Freedom House number 43 Trelawney Park here in Swaziland. It is not by mistake. I'm sorry. It is not by mistake or by accident that today we are gathered here in Swaziland to unveil a tombstone erected in loving memory of an eminent person who was inducted into a small group of eminent persons who are esteemed members of the Order of Lutuli, which the South African president confers to South Africans who have made a meaningful contribution to the struggle for democracy, human rights, nation building, justice and peace, and conflict resolution. Okay. Uh, thank you very much for that. I hereby wish to declare that this commemoration and and honor bestowed on Uma Koko today is a tribute to unsung heroine of our struggle and change. Uma Koko represents the collective and individual efforts and contributions of women in the liberation struggle of South Africa, house number 43, Trelawney Park, provided a warm reception to combat to the combatants of the African National Congress and they pursued the armed struggle of Nkondowe Sizwe here in Swaziland and in other countries. It is amazing how this ordinary person inspired and built a strong working relation with the cadres of our movement and thus helping the ANC to pursue its revolutionary cause to bring about democracy in South Africa. And I was privileged myself to be with Uma Koko or to meet her for the first time. And I remember that in 2007, he joined the South African women uh, during the Women's Month. <coughs> Uh, we started at Bloomfontein. You will not believe that she was not well. Whenever other people, young as ourselves, when they go to conferences, they stay in room, they go to beaches, they swim, but Makoko had her own stick. She was pushing her stick. She went to all the uh, commissions. She went to all the, the plenaries, and she was always there. Even during the registration time, she was there herself. Never we never went there to register on her behalf. So I'm proud of her because she did that 
on behalf of all of us women as a veteran she showed us how to do these things uh, and we 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 enjoyed uh, her, her courageous and humble personality with her towering dignity and she reminded us of uh, Maya Angelou, Maya Angelou's poem, which says, I rise, especially the lines that says, I am the dream and the hope of the slave. I rise, I rise, and I rise. Uh, death did not take Umagogo from us. Her memory resides indecibly in our minds of history. She may be physically absent, but she remains spiritually present to inspire us. She is a fountain from which we all drink and draw inspirations from a great story. A great architect for democracy in South Africa, her story shall continue to inspire ordinary women to work hand in hand and bring about democracy and quality in South Africa. I must challenge you that as we go past this event and short addresses, we must continue, continuously seek to be like Umagogo. Uh, Umagogo provided refuse to our abuse, or like here, we have to uh, provide refuse to our abused and vulnerable women. We must convert ourselves into uh, respiratories of hope, for those who seek change, we must inspire our people to strive to be better citizens. We must work hard, hand in hand, to liberate those who are still yearning for freedom. And lastly, we must seek to make the life of our girl child better. Uh, Umahomi was a hero. Umahomu I remember when we were sitting with her here, she used to tell us all these things. I want to agree with our, my veteran there that uh, Uma Homi said to me, myself, or oh, Mama, uh, she doesn't need anything. <laughs> she doesn't need her, her, her children to be employed or whatever. But the only thing that she needs from us as the ANC, it's a thank you, but nothing else. No money, nothing, like you saying yourself. So. That's why Tina Mpumalanga, we then decided Gutuma Koko shouldn't be just a veteran sitting here at number 43. As the ANC we must in Mpumalanga, we then decided that she must form part of you as veterans. That's why she went to uh, Bloemfontein to launch with, uh, with all of you the PWMSA, Progressive Women's Women of, of South Africa. And then she proceeded to Pretoria, the union building. Jancy came back to Mpumalanga where she received a gift from the then Premier Tabang Magwetla as a veteran, because she now we recognize Wuti. She's a woman. She needs to be recognized for the work that she has done. Necessarily, our veterans, Tina Basha, women, we must, we must learn from her. And as we're celebrating this day, we send forward. Amanda. Away. Away.